Si Juan Manuel Marquez ang maituturing na karibal ng ating pambansang kamao Manny Pacquiao kung saan umabot pa nga sa apat na beses ang kanilang naging paghaharap. At sa tuwing magtatagpo nga ang dalawa sa ibabaw ng lona, ay asahan na natin na umaatikabong bakbakan ang ating masasaksihan. Ngunit bukod sa ating pangbansang kamao, ay may isa pang Pinoy na nakalaban si Juan Manuel Marquez na talaga namang pinahirapan din si Marquez sa kanilang laban. Ito nga ay ang tinaguriang executioner na si Jim Rex Haka. The Philippines, Jim Rex, the executioner, Haka. Naganap ang laban nila Marquez at Haka noong November 25, 2006 sa Texas, USA. Dito nga ay tatangkaing agawin ni Haka ang hawak na titulo ni Juan Manuel Marquez na interim WBO featherweight world title. Habang ang laban kay Haka naman ay isang paghahanda ni Marquez para sa pinaplanong rematch nila ng ating pambansang kamao, Manny Pacquiao, dahil katulad ni Pacman ay isa ring south po si Jim Rex Haka. Bago ang kanilang bakbakan ay may baong kartada si Jim Rex Haka noon na 27 wins, 2 losses, 1 draw at may 12 KO. Habang si Juan Manuel Marquez naman ay may record noong 45 wins, 3 losses, 1 draw at may 34 KO. Sa unang round ay maagang inatake ni Marquez ang ating kababayan. Ngunit di naman papahuli sa palitan ng suntok si Haka. Sa pagpapatuloy ng mga rounds ay walang gustong magpalamang sa palitan ng suntok at talaga namang walang takot na nakikipagsabayan si Haka kay Marquez. I've seen Haka miss a little bit more in this round than he was earlier. Take it to another level. I see Marquez applying a little more pressure here. Marquez showed you a little bit of the speed that he says he has left. Marquez starting to settle into the fight now. Haka unloads an uppercut. Haka's punch out foot slows down just a little bit. Marquez trying to steal another round. Jim Rex Haka. That's the style of Jim Rex Haka. I mean, this is aggressively, but like he really is trying to take this guy's head off. Both fighters now, passion in previous fights. He may be then, 
would have gotten the fights that he wanted to have. Or was explosive. Yes. Haka doesn't have the punching power, Marquez, but he's fighting a very good fight in thus far. Normally against Southpaw's Manny, guys are on guard for that straight left hand and don't see the right hook. Marquez seems to be caught with that straight left hand. Pacquiao punches with a lot more speed and power than Haka. Vulnerable still, he is fighting a Southpaw with a good straight left hand, and that's put him in kind of the, you know, he's active against a guy like that. Might that not be an advantage against Pacquiao in the arena? But what, what happens when it's an even fight? And you saw uh, control over Haka's left eye. Emmanuel Stewart and Max Kellerman this was supposed to be a rebirth here for Juan Manuel Marquez. Got a watered-down version of Pacquiao right here in front of him. This is why some fighters don't watch tape, and Haka says he doesn't watch tape of his opponents. Well, gamesmanship, maybe, there by Marquez. Haka, he wanted to make sure everything was all good. Marquez wouldn't touch gloves. Bad cutter when you see two hands bumped together. That's what happens with two skulls, Rick. I'll tell you what, if Harold's scorecard's right, that puts Marquez in some trouble. And Marquez, you can tell, sensing he doesn't want the fight to be in danger because of the cut. Going to work here in the fifth round. This is the fifth fight that we know of with Haka for popular fighters. Marquez shot a big volley trying to, you know, get even after getting cut. Haka's trying to take control again. Landing 14 of 43, Haka 12 of 40. On Manuel Marquez. Sometimes when fighters aren't, he lost to Freddie Norwood, controversial. Profile among the top fighters in this weight class. And he does seem to be fighting hard. Well, it wouldn't be a dramatic win if it wasn't against the determined guy. Who seems to be unawed about this pro Mexican crowd. In particular, they're excited about what after what happened with Pacquiao in the Mexican last week. Pockets. Good right hand. Good right hand. Marquez landing flush upstairs on Jim Rex Hockey. Fellas, they say not what we expected. But I gotta say this: if the fight is stopped, it is you gotta score a partial round. Four to two, Marquez. Punches. And Marquez punches good with both hands. Fights. Well, that is truly the case, I believe. I think he, he gets hit a little bit more than he used to, but he's... Oh, nice uppercut by Marquez. And then he... What he wanted in his last fight. Trying a very good, exciting power punching fight tonight. And one... Haka's getting the biggest payday of his career, as you mentioned, Max, $50,000. He says he plans on going back to the Philippines. He wants to build a house. He has a can, wife. He can build a couple in the Philippines. He's really fighting a spirited, inspired kind of fight. He says he has no other hobbies. Let's know. It's a second accidental headbutt. And you can see, once again, Marquez wants to take matters into his own hands. Haka standing right there with him going toe to toe. But Haka came right to him and he uh, sure uh, did. made it punch to punch. It's a little odd there. Lawrence Cole telling yeah. uh, Marquez he was ahead on the score. Phone. Definitely odd. I'm uh, very sad about it. I don't recall ever hearing that. His face is ripped open well, how, and he wants to fight on. How could Lawrence Cole have any idea? Would quit knowing they were ahead in the fight. They would just actually run the rest of the fight. Even if there's no cut involved, just on point. Many guys, a uh, point that was just brought to my attention. Nice job on that cut. Well, he's been always the, the boxing guy in his life, but he and his brother Raw. Rafael. Rafael. Haka now trying to do some work against the ropes, and he comes back. Matapos tamaan ng left hook sa round 9, ay bumagsak nga si Haka. At mukhang dahil na rin sa pagod ay hindi na nakatayo ang ating kababayan.
think Haka knows where he is quite. No, he probably didn't see the punch. But prior to Barrera's last victory, the public would probably want to see Marquez now more so than Barrera, which I wanted at first. And there you see the knockout right there. And watch it with the left hand from Marquez. Doubles up, and it was the second one that put Haka on a seat. Bagamat natalo si Jim Rex sa Haka, ay marami namang napabilib itong mga boxing fans. Dahil walang takot itong nakipagsabayan kay Juan Manuel Marquez. Taong 2015 nang maganap ang huling laban ni Jim Rex Haka sa boxing. At marami nga ang nagtaka kung bakit bigla na lang itong hindi lumaban. Ang naging dahilan pala nito ay inalagaan ni Jim Rex ang kanyang may sakit na asawa. Ngunit sa kasamaang palad ay pumanaw din ito noong 2017. Sa ngayon ay isang traffic enforcer si Jim Rex Haka. At masaya naman ito sa kanyang naging trabaho. Bago tayo matapos ay shoutout muna sa ating mga tagapanood. Hanggang dito na lang mga boss, sana nagustuhan nyo ang ating video. Salamat sa panonood.